what is Red Fern Farms? I know that we're bouncing all over the place. I don't have my tripod. Uh, we will we will try to manage here. I gotta try to get back over. Uh, so I am the fourth generation. Uh, Red Fern Farms farmer. My dad uh, is a farmer. My grandfather was a farmer. My great grandfather was a farmer. You know, we we have farmed cotton. We have farmed corn. We have farmed uh, peanuts. We have had cows, hay, I mean, hogs. Um, when I was a kid, we, we had a hog, a hog farm. Uh, I, I even tried my hand at goats. Uh, I didn't try very hard, let's be honest. We might try that again at some point in time. Uh, chickens now. Uh, I mean, we've always had chickens around, but motivate the fifth generation to get into it um, currently our farm uh, has chickens um, cattle we have hay um, a lot of hay ground okay sorry so anyways I, our farm is very much uh, family oriented in the summertime, I have a cousin who helps my dad in in hay because it's just a lot to undertake. Um, I I actually work a full time job and have to uh, delegate my or regulate, I guess, my whatever you want to call it working on the farm to when I get off and the weekends. Um, there are times where I do have to take off work because we get in a, in a bind or in a jam and well, I just have to. But that is just part of farming you go with the roll girl with the punches or whatever you want to call it um so also uh, our goals uh, one is for for me personally is is to be able to farm full-time don't ever think that you can just go out and buy land and buy equipment and work full time farming it doesn't work that way uh, also you have to understand that my dad is also a full time pastor I figured it up earlier counted cattle in my mind and uh, I don't have my stuff in front of me so I don't know for sure but uh, there is to the best of my knowledge we have 77 cows and uh, right now we have two bulls uh, I train load of caves on and around and uh, we uh, we're, we're trying to uh, we're trying to establish re-establish ourselves in a new area um, I told y'all I think I told y'all uh, about moving from where my great 
grandfather established us, um, we got pushed out. Uh, our little farming community is no longer a farming community. Even though we still have most of our hay business here, or there, uh, we, uh, we moved and uh, we are trying to establish a new uh, a new deal there plus modernizing plus you know trying to keep up and upgrading and, and all the things that you have to do to stay at the top of the game my hand holy smokes y'all have no idea this camera deal is awful uh, alright let's try it like this for a moment we're trying to uh, trying to add things to our farm, uh, the little woman is is uh, working towards a B program. Um, I can tell you that our goal, my goal, is is yes to get on uh, to be working full time at the farm, but also. I would like to see the farm be able to sell directly to your table. Uh, we we want to we want to push for our our beef get to that place where we can sell directly to you processed beef directly to you um, at one time my goal was to expand to pigs to chickens um, and be able to sell directly to you the problem with chickens are well not the problems um, the only problem with doing chicken is uh I can go to the grocery store and buy chicken, whole chickens for like 99 cents. I can't compete with that, y'all. That's absurd. Uh, we also are um, trying to expand. Um, I would like to get into some nursery stuff um, over time. Uh, I have a uh, I have a nephew and a niece who are fellow chicken tenders uh, and I'm going to be reaching out to them at some point to uh, do some videos and uh, talk about their experiences with um, chicken farming because I think it's important for us to to, to spread um, our uh, do's and don'ts of what we have discovered in farming. Um, I'm going to reach out to uh, another nephew and uh, they're doing some construction things that I think is important for us to see um, some some trends and things like that that are going on that they might give you some insight on um, my nephew and his dad and his grandpa uh, are in it together what else do we have going on up there I'm trying to remember everything that we have going on we got the bees we got the nursery stuff expanding into like the tree market and, and things like that um, for those of you who have not looked at the tree market it has exploded over the last um, couple of years so we might uh, we might expand into the goat business maybe into the hog business at some point uh, the problem with some of those markets is the fluctuation of those markets 
it's very very difficult to do at some point we want to offer some of our caps uh, I gotta figure out how to do all that uh, we have shirts as well I don't hardly ever wear my shirt for the main purpose of I don't know where it is I could probably say something to my wife and she'd say, I done told you where it was. Still gotta get the chicken coop done. Uh, I do gotta get the shop stuff done. Uh, I gotta get the doors put on the shop. I've gotta, I'm gonna do a video just on the shop at some point, getting it back to where it needs to be, to be a functioning shop again. You have to walk through our shop sideways at the moment. Um, we got to do something about that. So, anyways, y'all stay tuned, and we will see. Uh, we will see where we head from here. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget, we need help.